Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from, um, whichever time you're watching this video, I pray that you'll be able to learn one or two things from this video. Okay, we're going to talk about the primary vowel chart. Okay, the primary vowel chart is very, very essential. If you must understand the vowel sounds very, very well, okay, uh, we have the chart right here. It actually described the amount of thumbs. Yeah, that's our focus. Okay, so uh, look at this. You see the chart. Okay, you see how they are arranged. All right, we have the front, the central, and the back vowel. Okay, this particular chart is just like uh, the the shape of your mouth. Now, for instance, this chart covers from your cheekbone like this down to your jaw. That's what the chart represents, okay? So it tells us what happens around here whenever we stipulate a particular sound, especially the amount of tongues, okay? Now look at this. All these ones with dots are called the long vowels in British English. They are called the long vowels, while those ones without dots are short vowels, okay? Now we have this one. Watch my mouth. E. E. And this one is short, say E. E. Alright? Move down to this place. And also, mind you that this is a front vowel. Front vowels are those vowels when you pronounce them. You, you have a kind of uh, air passing through your mouth, and the noise is usually out the outer part of your mouth. The outer part, that's when they are front. Like E. E. You see, the sound comes more from the outer part of my mouth. Okay, so the front vowels are how many? One, two, three, and four. Look at this one. E. E. Like said, many, peg, and so on. Then this one is a. 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 Like cat, rat, man, and so on and so forth. And also in description, we said this is high closed. In essence, all these sounds here are high closed vowel. These ones here are half closed, half open vowel, and they are also known as mid vowel. These ones here are called low or open vowel. These ones here are called the central vowel. The central vowels, when you pronounce them, you realize that the sound usually occur at the center of your mouth. For instance, we have this one. Uh. Uh, like a girl, about, around, about, okay? The one you only say above, say about, all right? This one is long, you say, uh, watch my mouth again. Uh, like purple, girl, first, and so on and so forth. And then this is the one that is always confusing. It is pronounced as, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, watch my mouth, like cut. And so on and so forth. Okay, we are not going into detail in the description of this sound. The chart is what we're focusing on. Now we go over to this one. This is called a back vowel. A back vowel. Okay, like this back vowel, there are how many back vowels? About five of them. We have this long say, ooh, ooh. And this is short say, ooh. Like put, should, would, could, and so on. Okay, remember there are exceptions to these rules because we have weak and strong vowels, okay? Then we have this one, or, or, and this is short, oh, oh, I want you, God is good. We don't say God, remember we use British English so we say God is good. We don't say on top of it, we say on top of it, on top of it. We don't say part, we say what. Please take note. And then the final one is a long R. We say R oh, like father. Okay? So that is all we have about this. Also, there are other features of this sound. Like you can say, I told you that this one is long and tensed. It is long and tensed. Look at the tensed vowel. All these ones, as a matter of fact, all the long vowels are tensed. All the long vowels are tensed. And there are five long vowels in the English language. We have this. This, this one, this one, and then this one, okay? 
Now, I said also in the notes, I said also we have rounded and rounded vowel. There are four rounded vowels. Let's go back to the chart. This is U. Rounded vowels are those vowels when you pronounce them, your leaves are rounded. It's as simple as that, just like the definition goes. So you say U, TU, LU. This is short, it is also rounded. So you say U. This is another rounded vowel. So you say O. And then the final one, O. Then, so a, a sound can also be weak. You can either say it is tensed or it is weak or untensed. And the sound can be long or short. So the long vowels are five, while the short vowels are seven, making them the 12 important monotones. And I also told you in the notes that the monotones are very important because it is through them that we have the diphthongs and the triphthongs. Okay? Now, in the description of the sound, we have E as in sing, feel, and I said it's a high, close, front, long, unrounded, tensed vowel. In essence, there are about five or six features in this sound. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, and six features. All for this particular sound. Then we go over to this one, E. Said, head, is a half closed, half open, front, mid, spread. When I say spread, or you say rounded, untense, short, vowel. Then we go on to this third one, you say, or, port, lower, is a back, long, tensed, rounded, mid, half closed, half open, Vow. I will be able to describe these three alone in this lesson. I believe that you've been able to learn one or two things in this video. Please, if you are still confused a bit, watch this video again and leave any complaint, any observation, or any question under the comment section. Okay? Like I told you before, I only describe what is in this. So look at the features. Look at these features again. That's where I got all these things from. Okay? So when you're describing yours, but can we do the same thing that way? I'll see you again in our next diction class. Please remain safe. Remain alive for me. I love you. You must always learn, no matter what, right from your house. Take care of yourself. Bye.